If you're making a lot of signal mirrors for your console, uh, you might consider investing in one of these uh, Dremel drill presses. This is a Model 220. It, uh, this, together with a uh, conical brush, makes it easy to uh, neatly uh, start uh, removing the silvering from the back of a mirror. I've got a, a mirror here. This is a 3 by 5 inch mirror. I uh, check to make sure that the, the Dremel press is uh, centered. And then I uh, position the mirror uh, centered here. Uh, when I turn it on it's going to get kind of noisy. Uh, but I'll turn it on, I'll lower it until it's uh, touching uh, the mirror. Uh, leave it uh, gently and gentle pressure against the mirror uh, for a few seconds for it to scrub away uh, the silvering and then uh, release it. So here we go. <laughs> see we've uh, neatly uh, removed uh, the silvering and uh, we can now proceed to the next step which is to remove the rest of the silvering with a disc brush. Uh, so we'll be uh, removing uh, this core in the center. One thing to be careful when using a Dremel tool, either the conical brush uh, we used here to uh, outline uh, the area to remove the silvering, uh, but also uh, the disc brush that we're going to use to remove the rest. But if you uh, press too hard, uh, you uh, basically produce a scorch on the glass. I'm not quite sure what it's made of, but uh, I've never been able to remove it, so uh, you can be, be gentle with the pressure. Uh, you can also, instead of using a steel disc brush, you can use a brass disc brush, which is uh, softer metal. Uh, but uh, the drawback of that is you also uh, wear, away, uh, wear away the uh, material more rapidly. 